Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your very first M-Block project. So if you don't know what M-Block is, it's a game development software for beginners. So it uses blocks to make code. So this is to get children and other beginners interested uh, in coding. So it's very useful. It's a very useful application. If you guys want to download it, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get it. So let's get started. So over here, you see we have this panda. What we're trying to do is we need to, um, we're gonna make a platformer game where the panda is going to be the character. So first, our aim is to make a platformer game in which the panda needs to go and pick up something. So first, let's choose what that something is going to be. If you press this plus here in the sprite section, you'll be able to choose another sprite. What is a sprite? A sprite is simply another object. So how about we go into food and let's, we'll choose something. Um, it has to be something small. How about uh, this carrot? So double click on it and then after a moment the carrot should appear we're going to put it in the corner right there so now what we need to do is make a background so go into the background section and press costumes this is a background that I had already made so I'm going to show you how to make it so here's an empty background first you want to choose a color let's start by making the grass so we're going to go into the green section like this make it a bit darker and we are going to choose the rectangle and we're going to make a big uh, green rectangle here we can always resize it if need be and then now we can pick blue and make it very bright a bit less of that yeah that's good and then we make the rectangle and then we size it there and clouds are super easy to make just pick a circle and then reduce the saturation to zero this will give you the white color and you'll be able to make clouds and if you choose yellow you can make the sun so let's go back to this background that I made and let's start with the movement controls first you want to go into sprites and panda make sure the panda is selected and we're going to go into events and choose when green flag is clicked so the green flag is this and it starts the game so what will we do when the game starts when the game starts we first want uh, it to go to a costume so let's do switch costume to costume one what that means is so if you click on the panda and you go into costumes you will see that there are two animation frames for it one standing and one walking so you can see that is pretty much what uh, a costume is so now that you know what a costume is, we now know to set the costume to the standing position when the game starts. So now we have to make it go here. So go to X minus 192, Y 37. So that's just the X and Y coordinates for the panda. When the game starts, it's going to be put there. So if I place the panda here and I press the green flag, the panda will automatically go to our start position which is good now let's make the movement controls go into my blocks and click make a block we're going to name this block walk right so uh, you guys can see it says define walk right because the computer doesn't know what walk right is we have to define it by telling it exactly what we want it to do when we're talking about walk right. 
So let's go into motion and let's go in change x by and let's change x by 20 to make it go quicker. Now go into events and do when space keys pressed change space to right arrow then go and then put walk right so what this means is when the right arrow key is pressed run walk right and walk right is simply change x by 20 so let's do that so as you can see our panda is now moving which is good so now let's make a walk left click make a block again and this time right walk left click ok and now we have to define walk left what is walk left if walk right was change x by 20 then walk left will be change x by minus 20 so if we try that out wait before we do that we have to go into when left arrow is pressed so let's find left arrow here we go left arrow and then walk left like that so it can now walk left and everything Now what about our animation sequences? Maybe we should put that in for our walking. So let's start by adding the animations. First go into switch costume to costume 1 uh, and then change that to costume 2 Then switch costume to costume 1. This is for walking right. So now when we walk right the costumes should change but they don't. Do you know why? If you've ever done coding you will know that code runs really quickly. About a thousand times, about a thousand lines of code can be run in one second. That's why we need to add a delay. So how about we do wait one second there and we put it to 0 0.1 wait 0 0.1 seconds before changing so now if we do that again we can see that our panda actually walks very easy very neat so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing for walk left so we add another looks section switch costume to costume one put that two times make sure they snap together so these two will snap together put the two over here first one it has to be costume two and go into control wait one second and then change it to 0 0.1 seconds so that is the movement controls for moving left and right so now it can move left and right but the problem is when it moves left it also looks to the right so we need to add more costumes to make sure it looks to the left while it's moving left so first we should duplicate costume one to make it costume three and then you want to uh, select it select the whole thing and then tap flip horizontal and it should flip and we'll do the same thing for costume 2 duplicate that and then make sure this one is also flipped horizontally now let's go back into the, the coding section and let's change this to costume 4 
and this to costume 3. Now, if we move right, we can see that our animations for moving right are working well. And our animations for moving left are also working well. So now, we need to make it get to the carrot. So, if we hold right, we can make it go to the carrot slowly but surely. Problem is my computer's a little bit slow, so I'm really sorry for that guys. Uh, if I change the x by 40 and change this x by minus 40, maybe that will make it go quicker. That should make it go quicker. There it goes. It's obviously going much faster now. Just as we wanted it to. I'm sure on your computers it won't be as slow. Now we have to make it go down. So, let's add a new block. Called four. Four is going to be uh, going to motion and then go to change y by minus forty. Okay, and then we would also want to have a jump as well. So, even though we won't really need it in this case, we can still make a jump action, mm -hmm. which is going to be change y by mm -hmm. 40. And as you can see, we now have these two. So now we can add another when space key is pressed. And let's change that to down arrow and add a fall. And then when up arrow key is pressed make it jump so now if we start the game we can move to the right but not only that now we can also move down and now the panda can grab the carrot so I hope you guys enjoyed this video about making your first game in mBlock. If you want to add more things, you can add sounds, more costumes, you can add more things. Maybe in the future I might do some more tutorials on how to put conditions and variables and stuff. But for now, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.